What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another two minute tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we're learning how to make a Premiere Pro animation template via the essential graphics panel inside of After Effects. Now I've already wasted like 10 seconds, so let's get started. Now before we get started, feel free to download the project file down below so you can follow along with the essential graphics panel inside of After Effects. Booyah. And also it's a pretty cool template. It's free. Now here in After Effects, we can see this really cool lower thirds template that you can just retype the text or whatever. And the box changes its size to the text really cool. You can also change the size and stuff of the boxes via After Effects. Super simple and easy, dive in, figure it out. And to note, this is a 4K composition. So remember it while you're using it. You may need to scale it down to 50% for HD compositions. But we wanna take this into Premiere Pro. So we're gonna to go to Window and Essential Graphics. Once this opens up, we have a whole new set of options to get it ready for Premiere Pro. So, in the master, you'll see simple lower thirds, which is my project in this thing. So you're selecting your project from there. So simple lower thirds, and we're gonna call this simple lower thirds. So the next step is to select solo supported properties inside of Central Graphics, so boom. So this opens up all the layers inside of After Effects to where you can drag and drop their properties inside of Central Graphics, so you can control it inside of Premiere really easy so let's do it so i definitely want to change the box one size so let's drag the slider i created up here um and also the outline size so let's drag the slider as well so the box slider or box size and also change their edit range so make sure this is set to 200 or whatever you want same thing for this the value is currently set to what it is now um our text i want to bring the fill color up here so text color and these are all effects that i already previously created inside of after effects for this specific animation so you will have to create the effects yourself so the color of my shape layer one, which is the rectangle, which is the shape color, the shape roundness, also the shape opacity. So we can actually make it blank. Now we want our outline color and also our outline roundness and opacity. And last but not least, we can't forget our source text. Drag it up here, Maxwell Ridgeway. That is my name. So inside of Premiere Pro, we can retype this text to change it. And from here, you can reorganize these. You can drag this to the top, anything like that. Doesn't matter from here. You organize it how you want it. And then maybe put the outline color right here. Um, and everything else looks good to me. So finally, let's set our poster frame. So hover your cursor over where you want the frame to be, hit set poster frame, and that'll be the frame that Premiere Pro uses to let you know what it is. Now we are ready to export this thing for Premiere Pro. Export motion graphics template, save. Once it's saved, we're ready to go. Um, it will warn you a few things. I just click OK and leave it on essential graphics. And OK. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, let's open up our essential graphics panel and pull in our new animation. So window, essential graphics, and there it is. Simple lower thirds saved in our essential graphics file manager. Drag it into our timeline and keep existing settings. It's fine with me. And we have an animation. And if we click simple lower thirds with the essential graphics panel open, we have all of our controls inside of essential graphics. So here's your browse for new files and edit for editing this. Really cool, really handy, and I hope it helps you out. As always, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.